again and welcome to Manch Talk. I'm Tammy Garthwaite. Hi guys, I'm Carla Garrick. I'm trying to get rid of the drop. <laughs> I, I say know, Tammy I just, Simmons Garthway. If you haven't figured it out by now, you know. Well, it's just you need to decide and well, then I mean, do but it. But I mean, I've right? done it. Like I've done enough months of both like, of figure them. it out. Sure. Right. Yeah. So so now it's we're I'm dropping the Simmons. Sim well, I mean, which means yeah. it's like a different beat when the when the yeah. when the show starts. Right. So it's just I gotta remember. I, I was like, eh, whatever. No, um, I feel you because you know it's just like it's just a weird. It's just all weird. Well, it's strange because I mean I think I did my first show ever when I did the Carla Garrick show. Yeah. On like how weird it is when like you have to change your name. Right. And how, you know, whether the patriarchy exists or not, it is very strange for someone, if you are a woman, to and you had one name, and then you change well, it. Well, I mean. And then you change it, and whatever. So, so it's like a big deal. So for deal. me, because I was married when I was, you know, I got married the first time when I was, I don't know, 23, 20, you know, like I was a baby, yep. and um, in retrospect. And I had that, I, Simmons was my, my name for, you know, more, many, than, yeah. more than not probably right. right and it was my name like and I literally don't know I, I could probably count on one hand how many people could tell me what my maiden name was oh, because wow. nobody knew me by that right right like yep so why when I got divorced thank god um I uh, people were like are you gonna go change your name and I was like no why would I do that right. like that's my name now. Like right. that. That's who but I that, am. But you see, that is like when you. Uh, so that is it how you identifying right. with. I mean, it, maybe right? if I had a tight family bond and all these families that I am. Right. Uh, well, for me, it's the pronunciation. Yeah. Right. Like I'm like no one could say my last yeah, name, right. and so it was like, well, I had to pick a name. Pick, right. And then I picked it, and then so many people are like, but that's not how I would say it. So okay, I'm like, well, okay, whatever. I. So I picked wrong because the ins right. picked wrong. And right. Oops. You know. No. But it's, it yeah. is a weird, it is weird, and there's, it, like, I was just, just saying before we got on the thing, so Dan and I started a conversation today, and I, somehow I got curious, like, when I, what it, what age can you take Social Security, and what, what's the benefit, like, how much, and how, what's the, there's, there's all this stuff, right. and then I'm like, I don't know what that amount is, and Dan goes, well, you can log it, oh, okay, we'll do, you know, 45 minutes later after <laughs> 7,000 texts and whatever, it's just funny, like, even that, I'm like... So, so hold on, Tammy, just for the folks back home, don't have a heart attack. But are you telling me you logged onto the Social Security website yeah. and had a less than optimal well, it experience? Wasn't, it wasn't... It was okay, but I, all I kept thinking to myself was, this is so confusing because you go to, you know, ssa.gov, and then they tell you you have to log in with one of these three th things, and one of them is login.gov, and I'm like, oh, okay... So I go to login.gov, and then the first time, of course, once I log in, it didn't bump me like, where do you want to go now? So I'm just sitting there at this login page like, so now what do I do? You know, like, and I'm just thinking of it, my, my ex-mother-in-law, um, somebody hacked, and I told her, it, the, the fact that we use the word hacked is wrong. Somebody hacked into her Facebook page, so she's getting, everybody's getting the, you know, hey, make friends with this other right. person. And she always ends up asking me, which is fine, and she said, um, you know, I, how do I change? Because I said, just change your password. Right. You know, somebody's like, delete your account. I'm like, do not delete your account. Just change your password. I said, when they and say... add double... Right, but I said, when they say hacked, and... they didn't hack anything. There's nothing in your Facebook... They can steal, you know, like... Well, other than, they steal your identity, No, 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 but I'm saying it's not right? like your bank accounts or your no, credit cards are attached. Sure. So I said, just change your password and then have everybody report the bad account and it'll eventually... But she's like, how do I change my password? And I'm like, oh, I don't even know. Then I'm like... Uh, right, and this. it's not that and it easy wasn't that either. easy. No. You know, and I'm trying to take <laughs> screenshots and saying, can you see this? Yeah, it's... You it's, know, and all I kept thinking when I was doing the Social Security thing this morning is like, come on, my poor mo ex-mother in law can't... Couldn't change your Facebook page. Like, uh, right. It's yeah. complicated. Technology, I mean, I think back to when well, I had my Well, happened with the crowd strike oh my God. thing, right? And so people technology. are still stranded. So we have a friend that was, um, I think he might have been on Delta, I don't know, but he was <laughs> traveling yeah, with his wife or his really fiance or whatever there. And um, 
at one point a couple days ago they were and Dan goes they're tr they're stuck in Detroit and I said well let's let's use proper terminology they're not actually stuck in Detroit <laughs> they're at the Detroit air they are they're not grounded. able to they're, they, right their flight out of Detroit is not available I said because he can rent a car but then he went to rent a car and he couldn't get a car right so I no was doubt. like okay so now you might be stuck but I think they got to Tennessee he said like uh, they were just more like just get out of Detroit like I don't know where I mean it's been a wild it's couple been a of crazy wild ten days. Well, okay, before we get into... Can we talk about the timing of how these things are happening, like, right before the conventions? Well, and that I, I seems mean, a little sus. A, there was just so many weird things yesterday besides politics. So did you see that in Yellowstone there was a big explosion? Mm -mm. So at, at Yellowstone, you know, you walk on but this But last park. week there was a huge comet that went past <laughs> New York City that no so one talked about there either. There was this thing, <laughs> and there's a video of, you know, all these people on this boardwalk that goes through, you know, like, the little geyser, and all of a sudden there's, like, a huge... You, like it was oh, a like big, a geyser like, or a geyser. It, well, or it was a thermo was it water something. Or oh no, it was, was the ground. Lava. <laughs> so that well, like just ground because. But I was just like, okay, that's bad. And you see people like, oh crap, and they start running, and you're like, that one's gonna. Somebody <laughs> grab that guy. That was one, and it was like at the same time. Then there was the picture of the whale. Did you see the whale? Was that out here at Ports off the yeah, coast of Portsmouth that to, that flipped the boat? Oh, I didn't see it flip oh, yeah, the no, boat. No. I so just, this black I, I whale, I don't know what kind it was, came out of nowhere. And these teenage guys that are videoing it are like, oh, comes up out of the water, takes out the boat, the boat flips over, the people, everybody was fine. But I'm like, what the heck? Like, those are unusual circumstances. And then, you know, this is on top of the fact that, I mean, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the whole Democrats. So crazy. can we just talk a little bit about that <sighs> hypocrisy, right? Yeah. So first of all, so I actually went back and I looked. I saw your post. When I originally started saying having Biden in the role as president of the United States is elder abuse. And my first post where I said that was so December 24th, 2021. Yep. yep. And then from there, every time he fell off his bicycle or, or fell down the, the stairs, stairs or, or tripped up the stairs or, or didn't stage. know where he was going <laughs> or like walked to a wall or talked to a blonde lady in a blue suit who looks just like Jill, who he clearly thought was, was his wife, or sniffed little kids All or the weird, whatever, bizarro things. Which everyone, everyone in the world could actually see for themselves, yeah. and my question to you is, why do we not believe our own eyes and have the media lie to us? Two weeks before he said he can't run, and honestly, if he can't run for president, then how is he, he should not be huh? president. Well, I mean, it, he made a technically, he made a decision not to run for president. We all th say he can't run, but I mean, from his perspective, it's just, I've made the decision. But that doesn't mean he's, I, I'm not saying I don't think this, but I'm saying that doesn't necessarily mean he's not qualified to. So he to should take, if he a is serious, oh, he I should agree. take a test yes. to prove that he is compass mentis, yes. and then that's fine. He can serve right. it that's out. Fair. But if he can't pass that test, which I am question you know, right so, we so, all so are like, like mm. you know my sister's in the medical yeah. field she actually specializes in dementia yeah. and sort of these these yeah. old, uh, old people stuff that yeah. starts to happen right and a part that no one is talking about which i actually felt bad about sharing yesterday on x but someone put together a very comprehensive clip of all the vaccines that Biden has received, and he was up to his sixth booster yeah. when I actually switched the video off because I was it's like, like, okay, it almost feels like snuff porn. I'm sorry. Right. Well, it is kind and, of weird. Uh, You're like, and and um, you know, so so there's this element of are we just not going to talk about this either? That yes, back in 21 things started to go pear shaped, yep. but what also started to happen back in 21? And then you watch this, and I'm just saying people need to ask the right questions mm -hmm. and people need to start to go and this is where your self ownership comes back you need to go why are they telling me this one thing why is Kamala on television saying he's as sharp as a tack like, and then there are like 400 other of right. them using the exact same words that's neural well, programming was, that's, that's what I said propaganda. last week I think I said political violence and I had never heard 
or never use the word political violence. And then all of a sudden in one day, I saw it in 20 places. And what makes me, besides the fact that I agree, it probably is elder abuse and I don't understand. I, I get frustrated because, you know, I'm a, I've always been a Republican. I support the Republican candidates. I, you know, like I, that's just who I am. And, you know, for oh, quite a while now, the Democrats in their, their buzz phrases keep saying that, you know, Trump and the Republicans are a threat to democracy and we're going to destroy democracy when reality is, and I'm hoping that some pe <laughs> enough people are smart enough to like figure it out, when reality is, is what the Democrats are doing is literally destroying democracy. So you've got, you've got a candidate, you've got a president who may or may have not been capable, should not have been the nominee early on. They, they failed to have primaries. New Hampshire didn't even, he didn't even file for a candidacy in the state of New Hampshire. Didn't need to, don't need to. Then, if you, I mean, let's all remind ourselves that Kamala Harris was a terrible candidate for president, had to drop out because no one liked her. No one. She was like at the bottom of yeah, the I pool. Think she was like 12. Right. The, she and, was and like nowhere near that. It's not like she came in second and became the vice president, right? Nope. So she's terrible. She's playing some sort of game in the background. Who the hell knows? Um, Biden's been like just touted out. Who the hell knows who's running the country? But now literally, what, three months before, the, what is it? September, uh, July to August, September, October. Four months, three months before the election, they're just, the Democrats who are all about protecting democracy are going to pluck out the person who their party picked the people in their party anointed and say, oh yeah, no, 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 he's not running. We're just gonna pick her instead. And yeah, they're all getting in line and saying, oh, we're all behind Kamala and this, but they don't really have a choice because they've got these oh, super see, delegates see. and all this craziness. And it is very interesting because if you watch all the clips, Obama, Obama would like to see an open convention. Obama's well, not hundred percent behind Kamala at all. Well, so, so, Part of this is also you have to follow the money, yeah. right? So a lot of yeah. money, almost $200 million, if I remember the numbers correctly, are currently in Biden's coffers. Right, well, this is what Dan that was saying, too. money, I believe, probably. can legally go to the Harris campaign right. but because it was Biden-Harris. Right, and but probably it can't, can't go. go to Joe Blow. Sure, yeah, if right. I can finish my sentence. So Biden and Harris, and that money has to stay there. So they right. actually have to... Um, I think you're right. Uh, they actually, so, so there's a faction, a $200 million faction, that is like, we have to back Harris because we've already put that money in the Because we can't the get pot. the money back fast enough. Right. Right. Then the Obama thing is interesting because, I mean, the chatter is he, they're going to put Michelle Obama up, which I think is fascinating. I'm like, I'm here Since for Since she's it never because, run for office. and I mean, that would be an interesting timeline, but at least that would bring that part of the deep state out of the dark. Right. And we would just be like, oh, wait, oh, wait was I see. rumors are true. Yeah. Here or Hillary, go. if they drop Hillary in there, same and thing. Then, yes. So, I, you know, and then, of course, there's Newsom's in the mix yep. and all well, of that. Well, like somebody so, said to me yesterday, which I hadn't really, you know, like, because this is not how I think. This is how Democrats think. This is not how I think. I said, I just don't understand, like, other than the money thing. Like, why would you pick Kamala Harris? She's terrible. I mean, the videos of her cackling and the drunkenness and so, all this stuff. But I said, you, I'm just surprised it wasn't like Gavin Newsom. And somebody goes, yeah, Tammy, they are so wrapped up in pro-black Pro women, pro anything. They couldn't possibly put a white guy in, and I was like, "Oh my God, they've created their own problem yes. because they've made it about skin tone and sex and not about qualification." Right, and and that is part of the boxing in. But what was really interesting is if you go look on TikTok, mm. uh, Kamala is trending. Yeah, there are all these videos. They started two days ago. <laughs> They are edited together to make her look like just, you know, like a really tough lady yeah, standing yeah. up for you know, the common yeah, man, yeah, like nah. all of it. And they are all trending with millions of views. So right. just that. And then those, because it's trending on TikTok, right, get pushed to other platforms. So if you're smart, you can literally use that, push it, and then you've bought probably, you know, five million votes right, right there right. just from that sort of... I don't Propaganda. know. It is very, it, the whole thing's bizarre. Um, the money thing is interesting. I mean, I do think they're probably, without really knowing all the FEC ruling, you know, they're probably what is a venue, a way to 
move the money from here to there, but the reality is, is there's only three months, so that process might take. Oh, and, you and know what it, I mean. It's all lawsuits, so yeah, right. I doubt. You know what I mean. The window is way. so short. Yeah, yeah. And, but that and, makes you wonder. Like, does does the skeptic not in you just say? So has this been the plan all along from the Kamala people? Is that we're just going to ride it till it's too late to do anything else about it? No, I mean, so I personally I think don't think she's got that much. I mean, the question is, for me, was who controls Every the X account for Biden? Because that was interesting, right? Like, so there was one tweet that went out that said, I have COVID. <laughs> and it was so weird no, that like, I actually went to check. Because right, like, one, I don't follow Biden, but he's in my feed all it, the right. time. So th uh, that's part of, like, the money that the yeah. deep state pushes to, yeah. you know, manipulate things. And there's money going right. to put accounts in front of eyeballs, right? And I was like, I have COVID. And I was like, oh, is this a parody account? Right. Like, right. like wait, is so this the real silly. one? And then in that thread, it was kind of like this coup, for lack of a better word, where it was just like between that thread and then by Sunday, I think that was Saturday or maybe Friday. And 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 then it was I mean, there Kamala was, I who think just there like was, spun up. I and, think there was legitimate, I don't want to say concern, legitimate possibility that Biden wasn't even alive. I'm pretty sure that Biden didn't know that he dropped out of the race. I think, I think again, whoever is control, because it's not Biden tweeting out on his account. I mean, it might be Trump tweeting when you see a Trump tweet, but it is not Joe Biden tweeting when Joe Biden's no. tweeting. So some when they put out the thing that he was out of the race and he 100% was on Kamala and then went silent, mm. it was like, well, that's weird. Even if you've got COVID, you'd still like wave out the window or step out your door and say, look, you know, I'm not feeling well. I, I think I did see, but I didn't but it verify was like, it, it that was like, he, they did show footage of him getting onto on a some plane. plane or, but it was like good day and a half, two days. Like, you know, you're like, what took so long? Like the right. average press conference would be, okay, Joe's got to go out and say. Well, also, I don't believe, and I, I mean, I definitely stand to be corrected on this, but like not running, I mean, it's a serious enough statement to have that it should, it should probably be on camera it should or be on, on radio. official letterhead um there was also the fact that the signatures between the last mm. five i think it was We're executive orders and this letter aren't quite the same but the other ones all look the same and they almost look like yeah. they were like you know how they so, can have an automatic signature box. before before i left the house i did see that he is supposed to address the nation tonight so okay. that you know he is apparently alive or his stand-in is alive <laughs> or whatever the case may be um and so what do you think about this SS lady stepping down? So the Secret well, Service lady stepped down from uh, her, from her role because of the attempted <laughs> assassination attempt on Trump. But, you know, I have to say, and this is just, I'm just going to say it to the universe out there. There's this, like, right, the, the reaction to the DIE, DEI stuff, I, I think DIE is a better word. I know. To I, I, I always want to right? say DIE, and then I'm and like, it's I, not. Actually, it was acronized to DIE until, until they realized they, they said die. And until they it became weaponized, right? right? But I think a reaction against the unfairness of not treating everyone equally has created this very toxic environment, right? Where people are kind of like anti-woman now. Right. You know, or like every woman or who's super been pro promoted. Woman. No, right. But every woman who's been promoted is incompetent, right. couldn't possibly have done the job, whatever. Now, as a highly competent woman, let me tell you, that right. it is real that there is a barrier yes, to entry. I will say there that. There are many incompetent men in my life who have had superior positions to me based simply on the fact right. that they are a man appointed by a man. And so I would like to say to the universe, can we just stop with this nonsense? I have not seen one man in the past 20 years, take accountability, actually say, you know what, the honorable thing to do here is yes, I am in charge, and yes, there was a failure, and yes, I'm going to step down. And I actually think she should get credit for that, because actually what she did is more honorable and more noble than any of the things I've seen any dudes do. And I have a tweet, and I'm gonna finish with this and then I'll let you speak. That's fine. But I have a tweet from years ago where I was like, you, they're basically putting women in positions of power now so that when the dollar collapses and the entire F up that has been created, not 
by women, but by the system and the men, when it collapses, we're going to get the blame for everything. Like the well, poor lady was, you know, it's like, well, I, on, I did guys. On that vein, I did have a thought and I was like, oh, okay, so there was a, we watched something on somewhere, I don't even know where, and they were talking about how there was um, a couple of advisors very close to Biden, right? Some of his inside advisors who said on, on, you know, without giving their names or anything, that there was a meeting with Biden. This was probably maybe Monday or Sunday, um, where they told him, and the word was like, literally, your path to victory is gone. Not <laughs> difficult, not going to be too challenging, right. gone. Which, I mean, anybody looking at numbers, Dan follows um, Dan follows the something where they bid, they bid on yep. money. Like, yep, I the can't, betting side. The start, betting side yeah. to see who's going to win. I mean, Biden was out like Which two months ago. Which is way more accurate than any right, because it's polls just, because, because it's, it's just real people. people with real money. Um, <laughs> so the fact that it took them this long to, to finally convince, tell Biden that like, oh, by the way, right. impossible. Um, so then like, but then I was like, okay, but Kamala, like, huh? but then I thought about it. I'm like, so are they like the donors have dried up? There's a limited amount. She raised 81 million in, you know, a day. Well, that's because those people were just holding back on their money. That's not anything laudable to be honest in the big it's picture, but I'm like, or are they just running Kamala? Cause they're just going to run it into the ground and just, are they just wipe saying 2024 is like, we can't, we can't pull this crap off. We're just well, going to run it into the ground. So and, another, they, and they're making her, if the, you want to play that. Right. right? Which, yes. okay, I'm okay with yes. that because I can't but, stand right. it. Right, I mean, maybe we'll benefit from that, you know, at least as a, right. as a correction right. to, to the communism, <laughs> right? But, well, so I guess the long and the short of it for this episode yes. is things are frothy. Yes. Um, I think we could all mindfully try to be like, wait a second. Like, you should like, question things. What? What like, is going on? Like, that doesn't look right. Can I believe my own eyes? What is my gut like, if tell I, me? If I look at you and say, that's a lovely blue shirt you're wearing today. Trust me, at home you should be like, wait, that's not blue. <laughs> so, so I'm so glad you said that because today I learned totally random <laughs> fact here. The color purple doesn't is exist. imaginary. I, 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 I learned that in the last couple of years. So color, just color in general, and this is just science. When people say that, like science, you know, they don't think things have changed. So we all have always seen that color wheel that we got. And then and the prism, right? Right, and that if you mix this color and this color paint, you're going to get this color. And you never really did get purple. You always got like brown. Do you ever notice? So they're like, well, how do I get the purple color? So we watched a video. This is probably two or three years ago, and it's about... Uh, light waves. Right. So now that science has become much more, you know, technolo technologically advanced, they can see, t measure the waves, and that's when they realize purple does. Purple is the absent. Your brain goes, it's not red, it's not blue, it's not. It must be purple. So it's actually the <laughs> absence of green because right. red and blue are red and blue should make should make. Purple. make should. Well, on the prism, so on the frequency, on the spectrum, yeah. it should make green but because green already exists on the spectrum it, our brain your goes mind it must be purple creates isn't a that purple. wild and then if if you do the spectrum this way it's hard to see but artists make it in a yeah. circle and then you can actually see it in your mind yep. but i i mean i love it you know my queen cool hat here for two sets but i'm like purple is the color of royalty and i it was is like different. oh look a whole thing that is imaginary um, or is it it was just a, that was like one of those really neat science like right because ah, i i mean i i you know been in, I was an art student in high school, you know, like, so color has always right. been a thing in my head. I, perp you know, some people can't do color. I can do color and learning that that color. Um, I did want to break, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Well, I was just, I don't, we probably don't have time to uh, get into the murdering yeah. cops of New Hampshire, so, but I will talk about that next week. I was going to say, <laughs> we have, a, so I saw this in the newspaper today and I did want to, rarely do I find things and go, you know, that's really kind of cool. Um, I saw an article today, and um, there is a group called NH, New Hampshire Ladies Making Friends. I saw that, too. And I was like, <laughs> what? And this was on the front page. And basically, two women from Plastow, like, put out a thing hoping just to find, like, make friends with people. It has grown to, like, thousands of people in New Hampshire. Which there are, says to me that people are actually desperate for community. And, and 
that people are actually just friendly. Like there right. are, you know, like I was like, I think I might have to join one of these just to see who these people are. But they go on vacations together. They make, go they do events. They go to like the museum together. They yep. have lunch. People invite people over for dinner. And I thought, you know, how freaking cool is it that this group just like blossomed and is just organically grown? And you can probably find them on Facebook in some way, shape, or form by looking up NH Ladies making friends. It says it has approximately 14,000 members. Wow. I was like, how cool is that? Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about before we run out is uh, somebody got hit by a car on the highway this morning. Oof. So I get up this morning, you know, turn on Facebook or whatever this morning. I'm like, what? And I still can't get the straight answer. I don't, I, I don't know if the individual's dead or if the individual's in the hospital. There seems to be conflicting. I don't know how there can be conflicting reports on whether somebody's dead or not, but what hours later. Biden, but she but just people said were it. like, here's my take. And this is going to sound really callous, but it's true. My ex-father-in-law um, was a truck driver, and somebody decided to kill themselves and drove into head-on into his truck. And that was not something that my ex-father-in-law really should have ever had to deal with. No. Right? So and that's I, despicable because that's actually yeah, like murdering that is, someone that's as terrible. well. That's like so, a bad way to do it. Just um, keep yourself involved. Right. If you, uh, so <laughs> there, somewhere between Granite Street and the Amiskeg Circle on 293 North, Oof. some a pedestrian got hit by a guy who was just driving to work in his work truck. And uh. I thought to myself, you know who I feel really the worst for? The guy driving the truck. Because he, you're driving down the highway. You're not looking for pedestrians because it's not a place where pedestrians are supposed to be. And then to make it even well, worse. Well, that's assumption of your own risk, and I'm sorry for the person who passed or didn't pass, right. but that is on you. Right, and then what's between, think about it, you're driving up the highway. One side is, you know, the mills and whatnot, and the other side is the river. So I will bet a beer that this is some not unhoused person who's crossing, and I'm like, you know what, I'm done with it. I'm done with this. Like, they're the victims, because now you just made this poor guy driving the truck the victim. I mean, if you lost your life, I feel really bad for your family. But you know what? This, it's just turned, it's like it's turned into chaos. People are walking on the highway. What, what, when did anybody ever so, think walking you know, on the highway was a thing? So in South Africa over Easter weekend, when the whole country kind of shuts down mm -hmm. and everyone who lives in the cities goes back to their families and the townships, and it's a lot of mess of people moving around. Right. To give you an idea, more than a thousand oh, pedestrians die Easter weekend on because, the roads of a because South Africa. Because there are Africa. so many people driving. Because there are a lot of people driving and wow. there are a lot of humans running across the roads. Which is So cool. when you start to see these developments yes. in first world countries, we There's really some... should be scratching our heads yeah. and being like, really? Is this the road well, we want to go down? Because what's... if we don't arrest it now, it's it a gonna bigger get worse. problem in 10 years Okay, time. we're getting the wrap up thing. Um, <laughs> anyways, I hope everybody, I, I, I hope that the person didn't die, but I feel it really feel for the truck driver. Um, that's all we have for this week. Enjoy this little break in the heat. Um, and we'll be back next week with another wonderful edition. We talk about cops, I guess. Bye guys.